browser to browser and we need to make it appear uniform in all the browsers which is cross browser compatibility so star brackets star denoting everything padding is equal to zero margin is also equal to zero and there we go it all looks like uh, one huge list so in order to organize it we're finally going to make it uh, make it horizontal so let's make a comment called first uh, first menu and we're going to target all of the list tags in the very top link so that will be with the class name of top nav list and if we apply a display of block and flow to left and we go back refresh and there you go it's horizontal now now we want to add a little bit of padding and this is the important part uh, we're not going to apply the padding to the list tag we're going to apply the padding to the a tags and the reason behind that is because if we apply it to the list tags the actual link will not grow so actually to demonstrate this I'm going to um, let's give the a tags a border so top nav a border is equal to two pixels solid black go back and there you go this is basically a border around the a tags and in this case because the a tag has zero padding uh, there's uh, the list tag also has a, it appears as if the list tag also has a border of uh, two pixels now and if I get rid of that now if we go back here and let's say we add the padding to the list tag which is this one right here go here and let's say padding of uh, 20 pixels or actually 10 pixels on top and 20 pixels left to right if we go back here it does spread things out but it doesn't change anything for the link tag and let's say we created a uh, whoops I keep on accidentally saving there so just get rid of that now right now the border is around a tags which is the tight box here but say the link tag was uh, the list item the list tags were the ones with the borders the borders would be on the outside and it will look more uh, more aesthetic as of now but the problem is if you look at the the mouse pointer right now I can click this link as soon as I move out of the border I can't click it but I'm still inside the list item or the list tag and later this is going to cause a problem because the hover button is not going to work so if we take a look at the demo right now I'm not clicking on the the text the text is right here my mouse pointer is laid at the bottom it's not on top of any text but the hover effect still applies because I have uh, I have made the the link tag bigger and not just the list tag if I made the list tag bigger right now if I put my mouse pointer here the hover button will not be working and there will be no sub menu to being displayed because the mouse is not over the link tag it's just over the list area so that's why we're going to not include padding for our list items which has a class of top nav list here instead what we're going to do is we're going to give padding to the a tags so let's uh, let's create let's actually go back see what we had so here if we refresh it we took out the padding for the lists and we're going to give a padding for the link tags in the very top menu so top map a padding is equal to or actually let's add a padding right let's give it a font style first font we're going to apply this to um, all of the lists all of the a tags in the whole sub menu so font is going to be 18 pixels and line height is going to be 40 pixels then font uh, font type is going to be Arial then if Arial doesn't assist sans serif 
go back, and there you go. We're also going to actually get rid of the underline here right now. So text decoration equals none. Go back, and there you go. And now we're going to add the the paddings. And to do that, we will go back here at the very bottom where it says top nav A, which is uh, denoting the class. We're going to give it a padding of padding right of 20 pixels and padding left of also 20 pixels. Go back here, and there you go. Actually, we're going to make a few changes, and instead of adding the line height here, we're just going to get rid of that. And instead of defining the paddings down here, we're just going to define it back at the top. So it's going to apply uniformly to all of the linked tags. And let's say we want the padding of top and bottom of 10 pixels, and left and right of 20 pixels. Go back. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, apply the font to the list tag instead because right now uh, it's not giving it the proper line height. So let's go ahead and change that. Go over here, add it back into the list tag, and now we're going to add back in the, the paddings. This time the padding is going to be 10 pixels for the top and 20 pixels for the left and right. So if we go back here, it displays a little bit more properly. And So now that we have uh, just finished our, so now that we have done our HTML, the first thing we're going to do is create our CSS file. So make sure you open a new CSS file, uh, save it. And then I've created a folder called CSS. So the CSS, all the CSS files goes inside here. And then I'm going to call this menu.css. Save, and I'm just going to replace mine because I already made mine. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set uh, set some general CSS that's going to apply to everything. And I'm going to just comment general. And we're going to first of all get rid of all the paddings and margins. Paddings is equal to zero, margin is equal to zero. The star sign denotes everything and the reason I'm doing this is because all the different browsers have slightly different uh, default paddings and margins and if you don't reset it your CSS menu is going to look slightly different in, uh, in each of the different browsers and you want it to look the same. So if we go back here everything is going to be aligned to the left and we're also going to get rid of the list styles. So we're going to say everything inside the class of list and top nav is the very uh, very beginnings unordered list class so this is going to basically apply to all of the list tags we currently have so list style is equal to none and if we go back you can't really see the difference so I'm just going to delete the paddings and margins for one second refresh and there you go we don't have any list tags uh, list styles anymore so go back uh, reapply the paddings